Ricochet does allow you to import existing consigner and customer data, as well as consigned and retail inventory. This is a great solution for stores coming over from another software system, vendors looking to upload their items, or for brand new stores that may have started inventory or consigner lists to easily get those into Ricochet consignment software. There are a few things to keep in mind regarding this feature. The first is that uploads will need to be done in stages, meaning you'll start out by uploading consigners and customers. Then you can upload consigned inventory on a per account basis. You can add in all retail items and products, or if you have already added in suppliers, then you will be able to add in retail products in the supplier account. We understand that this process may work for many stores, but if you're coming over from a previous software system or have a large amount of consigners in inventory, Ricochet can do a bulk import from the back end of the system. This is a paid service, so if you are interested, feel free to contact us anytime to review it further. Now, regardless if you are doing a front end upload or if we're doing a bulk upload from the back end, there's only going to be specific information that can be brought over. This is going to be consigner and customer and in stock inventory. There's not going to be the ability to bring over previous sales data or sold inventory. To start out, you'll want to download the CSV templates for each section. To import accounts or inventory in Ricochet, you will need to use these templates. Those templates can be found in the help article and also will be linked in the comment section of this tutorial. To start, we will review the process of uploading consigners and consigned inventory. After downloading all the needed import files, open the CSV in a program like Excel or Google Sheets. The custom ID field will be where you can add in any previous consigner IDs or vendor IDs. These numbers will appear in the custom ID field and the software will still create its own internal consigner numbers. So this isn't a necessary field, but if you have vendors with vendor numbers or coming over from another consignment software option, we can bring over those numbers for you. You can add in the consigner's first name, last name, and email address. One thing to note before moving forward is that the email address is a unique identifier in Ricochet. So you'll want to make sure that an email address is only attached to one account within Ricochet. You also can choose to add in their address, but note that you do need to add in city, state, and zip. You cannot upload partial addresses. You can add in the consigner's phone number, then set their default split. This is the split that will be added to all of their items by default when adding in inventory or when importing inventory. Add the commission split amount that the consigner will be receiving. And if this split is not currently available in Ricochet, Ricochet will create the split automatically. Once you've completed the import file, then you can go to your Ricochet account, go to Accounts, then click More and Import. The import module will be pulled up and you can click the import field to bring up your file explorer or drag the document from your dashboard into this module. If you'd like these consigners to appear in your customer list, then you can check the consigners are also customers checkbox, then click import. If you upload any accounts with duplicate emails, then the duplicates will not be uploaded and the software will email the user a list of consigners or customers that did not get uploaded. This list will go to the email attached to the user account currently doing the import. Once the import is completed, the consigners will have been added to your consigner list and customers if that was selected. If you'd like to upload a separate customer list, simply go to customers, click more than imports, and repeat the same process. Keep in mind that when uploading your customer list, the commission split field is not a necessary field. Inventory can be uploaded within the consigner's account. Access a consigner's account, then go to the inventory tab, click more, then click import. Before we can do an inventory upload, 
we will review the consigned inventory template. If the items you are uploading have a SKU or UPC code, then you can add those to the SKU field. The software will still create an internal item number, so it's not a necessary field. And duplicate SKUs cannot be uploaded. Similar to duplicate accounts, a list of duplicate SKUs will be emailed to the user after the import. So really just focus on adding in a SKU or UPC into this field if you're coming from a previous system and this item already has a barcode. Then you can add the title and short description into the description field. Next you can add in a web description if you're planning on selling the item through the Ricochet web store as well as add in a price, quantity, in stock date, category, and brand. If there is no in stock date then the item will set the in stock date to the date of the import and if a category brand has not been previously created then a new parent category or brand will be created automatically. We do suggest avoiding using special characters like quotes and brackets because these can cause issues with the import, especially when dealing with categories or brands. So once again, when we're back inside the consigner's account, we'll go to their inventory tab, click the more button and click import. At the import inventory for consigner tab, you can once again click the module to upload the CSV or drag it into the module, then hit import. That will successfully import the items into the consigner's account, and you can repeat this process for other consigned inventory. Now, if you do want to allow vendors to not only add in their items, but be able to import them into their vendor login, this is available. It would be a permission that you would have to set up in user roles, which we absolutely could help you out with, and you would need to provide them this template to upload into their own account. When importing retail inventory, you have a few options. You can upload it from the product screen. If you have previously created suppliers, then you can upload inventory directly into the supplier's account. But unlike consigners or customers, you won't have the ability to bulk upload suppliers. If you are adding in retail items to the product section and have added supplier's name into the import template, then similar to categories and brands, suppliers will be added to your supplier's list. You will just need to access the supplier account to add additional contact information. The retail import will be very similar to the consigned import with the same fields for title, description, and price, except you will have the ability of adding in cost, adding in a supplier, as well as a supplier or style ID for that specific product. You also do have the option of uploading variant products to retail items, but keep in mind this is only a feature available for retail inventory, not for consigned inventory items. You can use the unique variant ID, variant one and variant one value. So upon upload, you can upload retail items with attributes. Now normally this practice is best done when coming over from another retail software, where that export would include a unique variant ID. If you're not coming over from a previous retail system, or if that system has not provided a unique variant ID, then the best practice would be to add items with variants in manually through the front end of the system rather than import. But we will go through the process for your own knowledge. Each item variation will be its own line item, with only fields like quantity and price being updated for each variation. The unique variant ID. The unique variant ID, which is normally provided from previous retail software, is a number that is unique to the item itself, and it is used to tell the system to group these items together. If you're manually creating this ID, then create a number that is unique to the item itself. Next, you'll need to add in the variant title. This would be something like clothing or ounce size. 
then you can add in the variant values in the next column. The variant value will be unique to each item, where the unique variant ID and variant title will remain the same. If the item has multiple variants, then you can repeat the process of adding variant and variant values. If variants have not been added in the software previously, then they will be added automatically, similar to categories or brands. At this point, you can go to the More button, click Import, and do the import the same way that we've done with consigned inventory and consigned items. And of course, if there are any duplicate SKUs added to this list, those items will be emailed to the user after to let them know that they have not been imported.